James, just as you ended your video and said you wanted us to start channeling more than just um, thinking and premeditating what we were going to discuss, uh, because we don't know what formed all of this um, knowledge of subtle energy is going to take. We don't know. All, we, all that we know is that it deserves to be investigated. That's all that we know. Um, but we shouldn't come on to YouTube or to this uh, subtle energy pod and um, act like we know what we're talking about. We have to just let the uh, energy express itself in a way. And uh, just as you were ending your video and you're saying, you know, we shouldn't write stuff down, I wrote, uh, we can't have, this can't be metaphysical because it's too easy for the mental, rational consciousness to just say, what the hell are you fucking talking about? You guys are crazy. Um, so we, we can't make this into um, some kind of... A, an otherworldly phenomenon it has to be present in nature. And I think Ken Wilber talks a lot about how um, the upper right-hand quadrant, the physical world itself, um, all of these subtle states are inside of physical objects. Or at least that's how it appears. That's how it evolved. So these early mystics who would have these um, transpersonal states of consciousness would think that it was in another world because they saw no connection or correlate to the physical world. They experienced this inner world of sort of disappearing. And now that we can map the mind, we can see that uh, the neurons are all there and that these higher stages stages of consciousness and states of consciousness have neural correlates and so they are physical states but we just have to sort of um, keep in mind that physics is actually an exterior and an interior process going on at the same time and we can't really tell which is the real process they're both the process the consciousness and the exterior gross form are connected. They're not separate. There is no dualism. There's just two sides to the puzzle. So we have to remain very concrete when we're talking about all this synchronicity stuff. Um, because but the, I think the easiest way to do that is to talk about time. Because I think the power of subtle energy is the power of time, in a way. Because time is the power of creation. It's the, it's the spark. It's the engine that really drives the universe. Space is the road. Time is traveling um, and we are a traveler in some sense we're in time and yet the synchronicities are these reminders that we're also out of time so there's this contradiction now that's being forced upon us and I think that contradiction is what is required for the leap to second tier, or to integral consciousness, or to that awareness of uh, non-duality, I guess. Uh, which, you know, it's not as though you remain in some mystical state all the time, it's just that the, the non-duality is undeniable, and it, and it informs the rest of your life as a body in space-time, because you are both here, you're a man, and you're a god at once. And that requires a new way of, of being human. 